Phyllis from the Doll Corner, and welcome to my channel. I've been working on a few things this last while, and I thought maybe I'd just give you an overview of what I've been working on, and just kind of let you know. And I appreciate my new subscribers, and if you have any questions, or just send me an email or leave me a comment or share my videos and I appreciate my other all my subscribers so I just wanted to show you I made a video on my little whoops chatty Cathy's and made their little outfits up This one has her original string here, but it just caught in there. Or she would talk. And this one, the string has broken off, but they were made, I think it's 1964 that was written on the, on the uh, back of them. And uh, my daughters had these. These were my daughter's dolls. And their original dress, this is their original dress. And they had little panties. And I drew a pattern off of the original dress. And if you go to my last video, you will see how I drew the pattern. And design these little dresses from them. So that's my little chatty Cathy's. And when I was making those dresses, I had a couple of other little dolls here that needed an outfit. And they're just little dolls. I don't know where they came from. Now, I haven't made little slippers for them yet. But maybe they just need their little toes out. But they're cute. I think this is a little piece of silk I had. And I think it turned out kind of cute. And this is a little red one. Little red polka dots. A little bonnet. And then I made a video when I was putting these out little outfits together. And these are teary dearies. And they used, and they still would. You give them a drink, and they're lying down, and their eyes would tear up. And then you pick them up and pat at their back, and they wet their diaper. So they were a cute little doll. Or are, they're still a cute little doll. And, uh, I showed you how on my video, my other video, how I smocked the dresses and put the little trims on and things, and the little slippers. And that's my, and then this is a quilt that I've been working on. It's just more of a nice spy, but it's leftover pieces of stuff that was around here, so. But I got moose and frogs and cats and ladybugs and bees and ladies feeding chickens and fish. And I'm going to put a picture of it spread out on, on Instagram. And then I made a wonky border with the little scraps. So that used up some more of my leftover bits and pieces. I have parrots and birds and ducks. They're all there. <laughs> and then I have another, well I call them my crazy scraps, but I think they're known 
as crumb quilts now. But I, when I started making them, I called them crazy scrap. And as you can see, I'll put a, I think maybe I'll go with white on this one in between. Like this. But you'll notice there's the same coloring in some of them but they're all different. There's no two block that's the same. See, this one has a little of the blue here and here. But I think that's the only two. Well, no, I have my little bit of my frog coloring in there too. Anyway, they're just a fun, fun quilt to make up and use up the little bits and pieces. And I call it mindless sewing when I'm sewing them. Because you just keep sewing. So there's just... And I have made them with the hexagon, if you go back and make it the hexagon shape and fill it, the corners in with a piece of plain fabric and well it's like this one only yeah the same as this quilt it's a hexagon I just cut the shape of the hexagon and put it together that way and then I have something else that I've been working on for a long time and it's coming together but it's still not complete but I've been making basic doll patterns. And I thought I'd make a little, I'm working on a little book because it's very hard to find doll patterns unless it's for say American Girl doll. And you used to be able to buy Cabbage Patch doll patterns when they were available. But just for Say a little doll like this. You're probably not going to find a pattern. So I've got a diagram on how to, to measure your doll. And then it goes into how to make bloomers and pants. And then how to make panties. And then I have a lot of different sizes for all the different pants, for all different sizes of dolls. And by using your measurements on them, you'll be able to pick out the size that would best fit, fit your doll. Like this is for a baby doll. And this is a pantaloon. And this is how to put overalls together. And how to put a petticoat together. And how to trim a bodice and the different skirts you can make. But with this, you just become your own designer. As long as you can get the basic pattern for your doll, then you can take a look at your doll and say, I want a gathered skirt for this doll, or I want a plain, just a straight skirt, or I want a long skirt, or I want one with a train or something. This one shows you how to put your sleeve in and if you do your open don't sew the side seeds up until you get your sleeves and all that it's much easier to do it and what size of a skirt you need and this is how to add a train to a dress a skirt and this is a for a little doll 
little dolls. These are patterns for little dolls that are easy to put together. And then it gets bigger dolls. This is like a little girl doll patterns. And uh, then you get into toddler dolls and uh, lady dolls. And those are toddler dolls. Toddler dolls are a little more chubby usually and uh, those are the sleeves for the for the different size dolls. This is more of a fashion doll with the extra darts and things. You can for these ones back here, you can always add a little dart in them as well if you want to make them more fitted. Um, I have boys shirt patterns or you can use them as a girl's shirt as well and bonnet patterns so it's just a basic doll pattern I'd like to do it up as an ebook so that if you order it you can uh, just order it and it'll be downloaded onto your computer. I haven't got that done and I've got, some, as you could see, I have some corrections to make in this yet before it's, I want to sell it. But if anybody, if you'd be interested in it, give me a, give me a, leave me a comment and then I will know if it's, if anybody out there would be interested in buying one. And then I've been working on, oh, did I show you my crazy scraps? Yeah, I think I did. So that's just about what I've been doing. Now, be sure and subscribe. Touch the bell and you'll get a notice when my next video comes out. I'm going to show my, I'm going to take a picture of my quilt and put it on Instagram. So check out my Instagram page. If you have any questions, be sure and email me. Or if you would like a bonnet pattern, be sure and email me and I, just ask for it. And I will send it out to you very shortly. It's it's a free bonnet pattern. So what else do I have to tell you? I want to thank you for watching my channel. Give me a thumbs up if you think I'm doing a good job. Um, and just thanks for watching. Bye now.